right guys, it's Josh here with Buckeye Bow Hunter, and today I am headed out to the woods for the third time, I believe, this year. It's October 5th, and I got out of work a little early today, so I'm going to make the most of it. It is 78 degrees, kind of warm out, northeast winds, which is really goofy uh, for these parts, but we're going to make do. I got a couple spots that I can hunt northeast winds on and one of them is a farm I hunt about 20 minutes south of my house here so that's where I'm headed tonight. By the time I get there I'll still have about two and a half hours to get in hang and hunt so uh, last time I was in there which was a couple weeks ago I actually made a video on how to make a mock scrape so check that out if you haven't. But there was a bunch of sign in there. There are a bunch of apple trees dropping. It's uh, nice open hardwoods that butts up to some really thick, like select cut, which butts up to a bunch of swamp. And there's a little canal that kind of runs through there. So there's a water source. It's kind of got everything you want in like an early season hunt. Bunch of fresh scrapes. So yeah, I was kind of waiting for like a northwest wind to get in there, but a northeast wind will allow me to kind of get in there deeper and just go in all or nothing the first time. So that's my plan. We'll see you guys in a little bit. I was in here maybe three weeks ago now, and there was a lot of really good sign uh, scrape-wise. I didn't find a lot of fresh rubs, didn't find a lot of uh, tracks. There was a bunch of apple trees in here dropping though, so that's good. My plan is just to kind of pop in here. Uh, I got a really nice bedding area off to the east once I pop into this woodlot here over this way. So I'm going to pop into this woodlot and just kind of work the edge of this, uh, I guess it's a wetland slash select cut, just really thick stuff until I find some really good sign. That's what these mobile setups are for, baby. Set up on it and see what happens. So I'm going to move really quick. I only got about two hours left of daylight. So I want to try and get in here as fast as possible, set up and get real quiet. Big he is. I would really like to see him in person. 
something happens, it's uh, it's pretty warm, but you never know. You can't kill them if you're on the couch, right? So I got a couple does back here behind me working their way through this open woods. The one doe came down, right down one to me, and you saw her spin around like nobody's business and take off. Um, I don't blame her because I put bug spray on before I came out. And there's another doe kind of working her way around um, towards the swamp off to the north of me. after she snorted and took off. I didn't realize she snuck back in here. She caught me moving my camera over. Just started snorting like crazy. What do you do? I'm gonna wait it out, because you never know. These deer blow all the time and all kinds of things. Depends on the buck, but some of them might not, might not take it too seriously. Well, that's all she wrote, folks. I didn't see any more deer after that doe blew. 
be a lesson, I guess. Well, I'm going to pack up and uh, get on out of here, so we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.